think of the Gloucester fishing industry and this image might come to mind, but a few local business owners want to expand the view. We have a dynamic group of women here that are keeping this fishing industry alive. Melissa and Donna Marshall are two of those women. They own Cape Ann Fresh Catch, the largest community supported fishery or CSF in the country. Community supported fishery is very similar to uh, community supported agriculture. So you commit to buying a share and supporting the fishermen for a season. We buy local fish. We try to work directly with as many fishermen as possible. At their facility in Gloucester, the walk-in is stocked with fish ready to go out to customers. Donna started working with the CSF in 2009 when it was founded. Cape Ann Fresh Catch got its start with the Gloucester Fishermen's Wives and various other organizations that assisted them because they believed in creating a just economy for the fishermen and giving the best product possible right from Gloucester, the oldest seaport in the country. In 2020, Donna recruited her daughter Melissa to help out and soon handed over the reins. I said, this is great, but I think that maybe we can figure out some more things that are more up my alley, which is smoking fish or cooking or, you know, utilizing the fish that we had left over that we weren't distributing, so a zero waste program. Melissa expanded Cape Ann Fresh Catch to include a smokehouse. Then TJ Peckham came on board to be Captain O Sales for Fresh Catch and Twin Light Smokehouse. So we're an artisanal smokehouse, so we're taking that crafty spin on it, small batch. Today we're going to be making our smoked salmon spread. We used to make it 18 little ones at a time. And now we've jumped up and we're making about 250 a batch. We didn't want to waste. So the beauty is we always have leftover salmon at the end of the week. So it's a very easy fish for us to smoke. For the entire team at Cape Ann Fresh Catch and Twin Lights Smokehouse, supporting the fishery means supporting the community. I think that if more people were understanding of what's available locally, that they would stop wanting to get stuff you know, on the cheap, you know, instead of right. having something delicious, spend a few extra dollars and get something that is fresh. When you buy a piece of fish from us, you're paying the mortgage of your neighbor. A similar philosophy guides Cape Ann Lobstermen on Gloucester's Inner Harbor. And it started just with three boats. My husband's a lobsterman and he always wanted to sell his own lobsters. He had a couple friends who wanted to see a change in sort of how the lobster industry was going in Gloucester. And slowly, season after season, we've gained boats up to around 100 that we buy from now. Owner Tessa Brown started the company in 2017 as a wholesaler of live lobsters and crabs. They now ship North Shore seafood all over the world, and the impact is felt on the decks of Gloucester fishing boats. It's raised the overall average price to the boats, and so everyone sort of had to elevate to more of a fair market value of what the lobster's worth. We just kind of work with what is a fair price for everyone so that everyone can keep operating with such high operating costs. Cape Ann Lobsterman is a round-the-clock operation with workers packing shipments of live shellfish at all hours of the day. They only close on Thanksgiving and Christmas. When big orders stopped during COVID, Brown opened a fish market. Everyone still went fishing. It was one of the industries that didn't stop, but now we have basically anything you could want. Shellfish, steamers, salmon, tuna. We try and do what's fresh. Brown also opened a seasonal restaurant in the summer of 2023. The Lobster features seafood from Cape Ann Lobstermen, of course. She hopes businesses like hers will help boost Gloucester's fishing industry and support the fishermen along the way. There are women who have always been involved in that and have made strong changes through the years, either through policy or through organizing fishermen, which is one of the things I did. I had a group of lobstermen that didn't really talk to each other. If they don't join together, it's going to be a lot easier for, to take them out. And when we visited uh, Cape Ann Lobstermen, they had a blue lobster in mm. their tank. We've seen a few blue lobsters over the years, but Tessa said this was unusual because it was blue on the top, white on the bottom, and one of the larger ones they've ever seen. They're not selling it. Tessa is donating it to Mar the Maritime Gloucester Center, where they will put it in their tank for everyone to see. It must be really cool to see, though. Well, awesome. Up next, a taste of the South.